So today we're going to take a look at Google Wallet running on the Verizon Samsung Nexus. So we'll start with the phone powered off. Um, as part of installing Google Wallet and getting it to run properly, you have to unlock the bootloader of the phone, which as the phone powers up, you can see the, the difference here in the, in the boot screen, the, uh, the padlock showing in the open position because the bootloader has in fact been unlocked on this phone. Uh, that's important to note because it's not just as easy as some might think. Uh, one of the great things about Android is that you can, in fact, sideload applications and uh, you know get them from a place other than the Android market. That's not the case with Google Wallet, um, and I truthfully don't know if that's something that Verizon had put in place or uh, if it's just an incompatibility with the, the software not shipping on the phone. Really not sure. Uh, but the process is actually somewhat complex, and we'll have a link in the video or below the video here on uh, the full walkthrough. So once the phone powers on, we'll just uh, fire it right up. And you can see here the Google Wallet application. Let's focus in on that. Is installed correctly. If you try to, if you get the APK and try to just uh, sideload the application, try to just install it directly using like a file manager, for example, uh, the application won't even install. So we'll go ahead and launch Google Wallet. And we're prompted to enter a PIN code, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, that's part of the security features in Google Wallet. Oops. There we go. And once you enter your PIN code, uh, you're taken to the main screen here. Now, as of right now, uh, Google Wallet launched earlier this year, and as far as payment cards go, uh, City cards, or city credit cards are the only ones that uh, are supported as far as bank cards, so you could add a city MasterCard if, if you have an account from them. Uh, I don't, so for purposes of this video and for my usage, uh, I'll be using the uh, Google prepaid card. And uh, I started this when, when, when you uh, activate your account, you get $10 for free. I went ahead and added $50 just from my regular checking account, and uh, you can see that I've already made one purchase with it. My balance dropped from uh, sixty dollars down to fifty eight ninety three. Uh, just buying a drink at McDonald's this morning, <laughs> just to test this out. So, um, this is what it looks like, and you can change, uh, you know, the default card here. You can add additional cards. Uh, you can add gift cards and other things. Uh, and Google has promised to add more support for further banks for the types of cards uh, in the future. So, if we select the prepaid card here that I've set up. Um, a few things you can access from this screen. Uh, your current balance, you can add funds from a checking account or a credit card, and then you can see your user ID. So this is the, uh, the main interface for Google Wallet. If you go back to the main screen, you can uh, activate different rewards cards that you might have with certain stores. American Eagle is one of their launch partners, so you'd be able to add an American Eagle card, uh, for example, to your Google Wallet. Offers is kind of neat, and I, I don't really know how much traction that's actually gotten yet, um, but it'll use your location and find offers that uh, might be interesting to you based on where you're at. Uh, so a lot of this is focused on local offers, and that's really the big push behind Google Offers, so you can see these different uh, available offers around you. You can select one and go into the details about it, and if that's something that uh, you're interested in, you can tap Save and that'll save it to your wallet and then uh, when you go to that location and uh, single tap your phone to the payment terminal the phone will transfer not only the coupon or the offer that you're redeeming but also your payment information as well and that's where the name single tap comes from is that the phone will transfer all the data relevant to that transaction uh, just in that single tap so Google, Google Offers is also part of Google Wallet and uh, we've got that up and running as well last bit here is transactions and uh, there you can see my transaction from this morning. Dollar seven is what I spent at McDonald's. And if you go into that, it'll give you just a little bit more details. Uh, you can leave notes for yourself as far as transaction, what it was or what it was for, uh, date and time, obviously, and then the amount. When you have multiple cards set up on here, it'll also keep track of which card spends you know, a certain amount of money. 
And that's it. That's a quick walkthrough. Google Wallet working on the uh, Verizon Galaxy Nexus. They said wasn't going to happen. So uh, instructions for how to do this is not for the faint of heart, uh, but we will provide those in the link underneath the video. I'm Mike uh, on Twitter as at MyZ06Vet, and uh, partner in helping me get this done is at DL Evans, and uh, we'll have both of those links in uh, the, the uh, description below. So you can follow